What's up everybody? This is another video with Kaylee. Um, I thought it would be fun to just do some portrait tips using a flash. So I'll show you three different things, hey? Mm. I think three different things yeah. on how to make your portraits look a bit better. It's good time now because it's almost golden hour. I think another hour would be golden hour, but this will work. I'm going to show you three tips on how to get nice portraits from your model. I'm going to use the A7 III and the 35mm 1.8. I like that lens because you can get like close and still fill the frame and it feels like you're right there with her which is nice and then um, if you want to follow Kaylee I will put her information below she's been in lots of videos before she has lots of energy apparently okay mm. now do a little duck move Okay, so the first thing you can do, obviously, is to backlight a model. And if you if you don't know why, it's firstly, you don't want model's eyes in the sun. So if you come to the side, okay, you can stay there. Woo. So if you look at the light on Kaylee's face, it's pretty good now because it's almost golden out, so it's soft. But if you had to look at me, suppose shooting it all day, it's going to hurt your eyes. Okay, so you could do this for a bit and then the better way for if you have a flash is to flip it around so that the sun acts as a key, uh, like a hair light on the back of her head and then you fill in with that so it makes her life easier because she can keep her eyes open and uh, it gives a really cool two light look so let me I'm gonna take a picture this way and then we'll film it the other way now because let me have pose the lighting is pretty good actually and then we are shooting everything at 1.8 you want more pose Another one. It actually looks nice. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna ask Katie to turn around. Ooh. And then you can either ask the model to move around until she feels the sun on the back of her head, or you can just look at the edge around her head. You can see it there. If you have crazy hair though, it makes your hair stand out even worse. Yeah, I got crazy hair. <laughs> Okay, so what we're going to do is, we're going to take a photo with the flash off and we're going to change our settings to expose for the background to make it look like you want it to look in the final image so you can see the edge around her hair. We'll do one more. Okay. So that's the image without flash, then we turn the flash on and then start pretty low. So you do like 16 or 32 power. Let's try one. Okay, and it's a little bit not bright enough, so we're going to put this closer and turn it up to 16. You might have to go quite high because you're combating the sun. Let's do 16th. One more. Beautiful, and then we're going to go up to 8th. I don't think we'll go higher than 8th. Okay, I just want to film one video clip with you. I'm going to film it on my camera. I just see my shadow and like all my hair is doing this. Doesn't look bad on camera though. Okay, so I'm filming... Uh, let me just... So I'm filming this in... Uh, on, my shoot, on my photo camera. I just want to show you. You put the sun behind her head, so now you can't see it. And if you move ever so slightly, you'll get a flare come off the edge of her head like that. And that's where you want to be. So you've got a little bit of a glow coming around the head. Yeah, there, there we go. Tip two would be, you either put the model in the shade. Um, so if you have trees, you can put it under the shade and fill in with flash, similar technique to before. But if you don't have, like if we were out on the beach, there'd be no shade, you'd have to get a scrim, which are very hard to come by unless you have a reflector. So I have one in the car, I'll do that next. But for this, all you're gonna do is try to take your umbrella and make a shadow for her. So what you wanna do, if you have a big umbrella, it's better. I obviously have the small one with me now. But if you can put this in line with the face, 
Now she has fake shade, which she'll thank you for. Uh -huh. um, and then you just want to get rid of that shadow on her chest. See the shadow from the umbrella? So you don't have to shoot into it and then you're gonna shoot like normal. Um, let me try one. Just wanna see if it's too bright. Very nice, we're gonna do one more. We're gonna go. Look this way. One more. One more. Okay, I want to say something. So, you see the shadow on her? That's from my umbrella. Now that's a problem because you'll see it in the photos. So you just crop past it or you'll have to fix it. That won't be an issue if you're a bigger umbrella. Because I mean, a little bit bigger would have helped. But this is what we have today. So I'll show you one more tip over there. I like it. Gives a little spinny spin. Yeah. The glare is really nice. That's good. You come close me again? Come on, do spin. Okay, can we quickly go out there for the third tip? Yeah. Third tip and outro. I'm having a moment, Rob. Don't sorry, Kaylee, it. we're running out of bed. <laughs> oh, sorry. And you got goosebumps. Okay, so the third tip is just a simple light use tip. Um, when you place the flash, you kind of want to keep the model's nose pointed towards the flash. So if it's on this side, she needs to have her direction this way or straight. If it's that way, you tend to get shadows from her nose and stuff. If you put it far back with a big umbrella, you won't have as much an issue. And then the biggest problem is models will just swap angles and now you're flashed on the wrong side. So you've got to either tell them to keep it this way for now, then you swap it so that they know because they won't, they're not going to know what the hell you're trying to do. So we're going to take one example where her nose is not towards the flash. Okay, so that's the one. You can see the shadows. Oh, it's actually pretty. Look, look at me, straight at me. So nose to me, you'll see the shadows on the side of the nose and the eyes. And then if you point the nose to the flash, so keep your chin there. So you can even put her nose a bit down, chin down a bit. Yeah, look at me. So that will fill both sides of her nose properly. Okay, so that's the tips. You wanna say anything? What tips do you have from a model to photographers? Oh, I have so many, but okay, let's stick to... Give us one tip a model A nice wants. one that I like. I'm gonna give you one tip that I like. It's when you're doing portrait photos and you have that fear of like a double chin, as he's taking the photo, put your tongue against the roof of your mouth. It takes away the double chin for that. For realsies? For realsies? Yeah. I didn't know that tip. I thought models just do that to keep your mouth kind of half open. No, that's It's got a sexier one. feel, yeah. That's when you push your tongue to the sides of your mouth. What? We gotta do a video, because I don't even know that. <laughs> so there's two tips. <laughs> okay, um, if you wanna follow Kaylee, her links are below. Follow Carla, follow Nicola. Everybody's involved. Um, if you want to know more tips on portraits, maybe we can do that, maybe a natural light one. And then we're going to do a, chat, a video series where we ask models advice that photographers should know or video people should know. Don't you think that's a good one? Which will be a fun discussion. <laughs> okay, can I do a bonus tip? Okay, so what you can see we're doing here is we're blocking the sun with that. If we get her to go even closer, to actually go this way. Let's do this. So we're going to light this side of her face with this, so that sun's getting diffused. And then this light will be this side to light this side of her face. And then we're using the sun as a second light, which will make for very pretty portraits. So I'm going to take one natural light shot. Give me another, give me, nice, give me some, some arms. Okay, so this is the one with natural light. And then we're going to just pop a very soft flash onto the other side of the face. Very nice, give me eyes. Okay, and those are the photos. Dunsies. Okay. What Can do you tell a model? 
You look beautiful and thin, not skinny. Not just beautiful either. <laughs> Thin and beautiful. And the hair? The hair? Thick and beautiful. And the booty? Firm and beautiful. Fit or firm? Firm. I'm not putting any of this in. 